hey guys welcome to my channel it's jasmine lee here and a lot of you have never even seen my real hair but i shaved my head again um it's been about two weeks and the reason that i had to cut it this time was a lot different from why i had to cut it the last um the last time about two years ago this time the reason i cut my hair was due to seborrheic dermatitis or at least that's what i believe for it to be i literally had like so much dandruff um in my hair and it's like no matter how much i washed my hair no matter how much i you know moisturized it and like tried to revive it no matter what i did i could not get these flakes out of my freaking hair like it was irritating and I have 4C hair, like a true 4C. So the reason I mentioned my hair texture is because my hair is very thick. It's very full and like, as you can even tell even here, like every part of my head is packed with hair follicles and like just hair, you know what I mean? So when it grows out, it's really hard to get to my scalp when it's so long and all that stuff. And with it being so kinky, those flakes don't just fall out of hair like they would if it was a little more straight or wavy. Like they actually get caught up in my curls and it just looks really gross and I just don't like it. I'm trying to do different things like implement changes in my diet, changes in my hair products, and um, just changes in a bunch of different factors. Um, even stress can cause, cause this um, inflammation of the scalp. So basically, for those of you, I don't think I went into it, so I'm sorry about that, but for those of you who don't know what seborrheic dermatitis is, it's like eczema but on steroids, like eczema on crack. Your scalp is um, producing an overproduction of sebum, which is what your, your face secretes um, sebum. For those of you who have oily skin, your face is creating too much sebum. So essentially, your scalp does this and um like it's just really dry it's really irritating and like you get these white patches here and there and you can like literally like scrape up the flakes now mine weren't always that bad i've had like periods of time where they were that bad where i could like pull it up and i was more fascinated than grossed out go figure but um once i learned what it was it was nothing to be alarmed about now for some people who have like psoriasis which can also tie into this issue i know it's not that because of the symptoms that i've looked up but that was i don't know it was irritating and um so i ended up like before i cut it i ended up text relaxing it and that was just a hot mess because my hair is already unhealthy at this point and then i go and stress it out more so I was just like, babe, I really want to like, just please just shave me. I don't even care. Like, I don't even care if I look crazy because I'm in the house anyway. So he went ahead and did it. So we are two weeks in the making of Little Caillou. And yeah. Oh, and one more thing that I forgot to mention. Um, these are the shampoos that I was using. I'm actually not using a couple of these as much. So, um... Selsun Blue was one that I was using. Um, I'm sure everyone knows about Selsun Blue. Didn't really do much for me. It provided relief, but it was very temporary. It was like overnight, pretty much. Then I started to use Sulfur 8, because I do remember using this a couple times to deal with my dandruff. And I've always had dandruff that was like, when I did have it from just a regular dry scalp um this was enough to like put everything at bay and like put the ph balance back intact so this is one i can definitely recommend if you're dealing with regular dandruff however if you're dealing with support dermatitis i would recommend um tea gel from neutrogena i actually didn't even know they had this but yeah it's a therapeutic shampoo targeted at dandruff psoriasis and support dermatitis so i'm um, all three birds with one stone and it smells kind of funny so um one of the the active ingredient is called coal tar and it definitely smells like tar and coal really but it smells like pure coal and tar so just be mindful smell is not like it's not unbearable but it's not like a pleasant shampoo type smell if you were expecting something a little more like subdued this is not that 
um and you can just put conditioner in your hair or moisturize your hair after you use it and it's done and then lastly this one i think i like the most this is called nizarol and this is um also an anti-dandruff shampoo this one is not targeted at any specific conditions but um this one i actually found out from a youtuber's channel i have to remember which youtuber because i think i'm subscribed to her but she did recommend nizarol it definitely helps it controls flaking scaling and itching according to the bottle and for me i wasn't dealing with the scaling so much as the itching and the flaking so um so far so good this is what my scalp is looking like and yeah so i will keep you guys posted right now i'm really liking my hair at this length so i might keep it short for a while before i decide to let it grow out again um i really just want to get my scalp under control let me know if you want to see more videos about just my journey um if i do start to grow my hair out let me know if you guys want content that like kind of chronicles how i'm dealing with this and yeah thank you guys for watching my channel as usual i hope you guys have a happy holiday but other than that i hope you guys learned something from this video thank you guys for watching my video and i'll talk to you in the next one bye